show you what it's like to go down the grapevine. Mm. Ah. In crappy weather. In, <laughs> yes, in poor weather. You can see there's a little bit of snow on the side of the road up here. Grapevine's not real bad for snow most of the time, but it is the world famous downgrade that everybody freaks out about. Well, one of them. Right. <clears throat> it's not even that bad. I used to run it all the time. Even three times a day sometimes if I was taking loads of diesel over to what now is the Pilot in Castaic. Used to be the giant truck stop for a lot of years. I used to run loads of diesel over there. It'd be like three a day out of Kern Oil in Bakersfield. Actually out of Weed Patch. So I used to run this all the time. Not a big deal. But we're coming through uh, Fraser Park right now. Oh, I guess... It's been a while since I've been here. Where'd the truck stop go? Used to be a Flying J up here. Now it's a... Nothing, I guess. Yeah, yeah I guess it's gone. I noticed it wasn't on the uh, Pilot Flying J app anymore either. Because huh. we went in there, I think, while we were with Prime. Yeah. So we're kind of in the last stretch here, you know, the past the last uh, five miles or so before you actually hit the grade. Nowadays, there's plenty of warning signs, flashing lights, they get you slowed down. They'll, uh... It used to be you didn't have none of that. It was just, you had a couple of signs telling you grade or whatever. And then they posted a speed limit right at the top of the hill for like 35 miles an hour or something. Now it's down to 25, I think. So... Cabbage is pretty bad. Grapevine can just be bad because it's long and just consistent, you know. Yeah. It, and if you're heavy, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've smoked my brakes on the grapevine more times than pretty much anywhere else. Another one that was always bad was the uh, oh, I forget the number of the road. It's Nevada going over to uh, Laughlin off the uh, 90, uh, 95. That's a steep grade. I smoked my brakes a couple times going down that too. So as you go along here though, you'll see you get right along this stretch. Uh, in a couple of minutes, we'll start seeing signs. It's not as bad as everybody thinks, but if you do hit this hill in the wrong gear and you're heavy and say you got a small motor and your jake brakes aren't good and you go plowing into this thing full speed, yeah, you can get yourself in trouble real fast. I've seen a lot of dudes smoking their brakes down this hill. so And then they make the mistake after they smoke them all the way down the hill, if they manage to make it to the bottom, they get to the bottom, they're smoking like crazy, and then they pull over. And they're sitting there looking at their, you know, they get out and they go back and checking out their trailer and stuff while it's smoking. Well, the heat builds up and then they catch on fire because they stopped. It's, it's like a thing of, if you're smoking by the time you hit the end of this hill and you don't see flames coming out of your axles, you know, you don't see tire fire going on or anything like that. Just keep rolling, let the air cool your stuff off. So a lot of guys that get to the bottom, they freak out and they pull over to check out their brakes. You know, and it's like, no, you just keep driving, man. They will cool down, let them air cool. You know, even if it's hot outside, doesn't matter, let them air cool. So not too much further. Wait till we see some signs and we'll come on back, right? All right, a couple minutes later, start seeing we just entered the 45 zone. So I'm easing on down. You know, slow trucks, yada yada. As 
soon as you get past uh, Fort Tejon right here, that's where you start your uh, first part of the downgrade. But you can see right out here, these hills, all right there, that's where it starts. You want to be sure as you come into it, I mean anybody that's been down the grapevine knows, especially when you got a manual transmission. They get you slowed down pretty good now where you're going like 25 going into the grapevine. So, see here we go. Truck speed limit 35. Five miles, 6% downgrade. Trucks use low gears. And pretty much at this point, you just get in line and just wind your way down the hill. You don't mess with it. You got to stay in this lane. I've had guys going 15 miles an hour down this thing though, and it's like, God dang, man. Like I said, some guys freak out. Yeah. There's Fort Tejon right over there though. It's an old, uh, oh hell, what do I call it? A settlement fort back in the day or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. So as you come in though, right now I'm in eighth gear. As we really hit the hill, I'll probably throw it in the seventh. Because it's kind of running away from me in eighth right now, so I know I'll slow it down a little bit, throw the jakes on, and just let it grind down the hill. Our load's only about 30,000 pounds, so we're not overly heavy, but enough that it could get away from you if you're really not watching it. So right about now, so you can see, I'm at about 35, running kind of high on the revs, bring it down a little bit, throw my jakes on. Now I'm down to about 30, so I don't need to be going that slow. So what I'll end up doing is I'll throw it back in the eighth, throw my jakes on and see how that does. Now, if you can get into a speed, say like this dude, he's like, yeah, screw it, I'm gone. <laughs> this is pretty much it. Going into the main part of the downgrade right here. You can see I'm holding right about 35, eighth gear, full jakes. If it starts to get away from me a little bit, just ease on your brakes a little bit and bring it back down. I mean, there's two schools of thought. Just riding your brakes a little bit or stabbing them. Stabbing can be beneficial if it's really out of control. You can stab it, try to bring it back down real quick and then let off so your brakes can cool off, especially if you're really heavy. So you can see I'm catching up to this guy a little bit though. So I'll just ease on my brake a little bit, bring it down a tiny bit. I mean, I could easily get out and pass this guy, but for sake of demonstration, just get in your lane. You're only on this hill for 10 minutes, you know, it's not a big deal. guys flying down the hill too. CHP, yeah, they're riding the brakes all the time, heating them up. If they're heavy, they may uh, even overestimate the capabilities of their truck for the load they have on. So I guess this is uh, more for rookies. What about, <coughs> what about CHP? Well, the CHP, the truck lane's 35. If you go blasting down this hill at 55, they will nab you for it. All trucks are supposed to be going 35. So you can see though, with my jakes on, 30,000 pound load, I'm holding 35 real easy. This is 6% grade though, it's not bad. You see, you see the first runaway truck ramp? It's on the on the left side 
because if you already lost it and you're blasting down this hill it, yeah you ain't in this lane you're out there trying to push traffic out of the way so you see another guy coming up on us here like so you get into these kind of hills you run them all the time you know how you can run your truck and the kind of weight you have on stuff like that when i had a guy when i drove my old gas tanker i had a a 90 peterbilt 359 or 379 and it had a c10 cat small 10 liter cat motor no guts no jake brake i'd be creeping down this hill when i'd have 80,000 pound load you know or just a full 80,000 load of gas or something like that i should be creeping down this hill riding the brakes it's just a safer bet you can see though i'm easily holding 35 still haven't even touched my brakes If I threw it in the ninth, I'd probably be out there jamming a little bit, hitting my brakes here and there, warming them up. See that guy? He's just yeah. Yeah, you see guy on their brake the whole time. You know that. And you will see guys getting right about to this point. We're down to the uh, bottom third of this now. Here's the second runaway truck ramp, also. made it this far though you got to consider if you've already made it this far and you still have control of the truck but you're smoking them hard you might be better off just to ride it out because you can see the straightaway out there you're almost to the bottom so there's a big curve up here so if you think you can handle it you might be better off instead of taking your truck into the truck ramp wrecking your truck possibly killing yourself Might be better to try and ride it out. Yeah, the truck yeah. ramp that was on the right, that was the original one. This one on the left, I think they've put in in the past several years. I guess it all depends on how to control your Yeah. Yeah, if you think you can manage it, like I said, if you're a newer driver, don't know your equipment that well, you know, I always think too though you got to learn somehow okay. if you screw up you're smoking your brakes I mean I've ridden it out several times down this hill where I was a little questionable maybe had a little smoke coming off I'm like eh. I never thought of taking the truck ramp but that's, like the that's last gone. resort yeah when you're totally done you're doing 120 miles an hour down this thing and you're done you might as well ditch it into the truck ramp i mean you'll probably get killed at that kind of speed but at least you didn't kill anybody else and i just touch my brakes a little bit only because i keep catching up to this guy a little bit you can see for the most part all the way down i haven't touched my brakes really at all trucks maintain control easily even if we had a full 40,000 pound plus load on here, we're pretty maxed out. This truck handles pretty good. It's got a pretty strong jake brake on it. Yeah, I miss you. Would have been down in the seventh. Oh, yeah. But as you can see, getting down here to the bottom. Easy breezy. So for all those guys that have never driven the grapevine, heard all the stories, all the horror stories, <laughs> all the gruesome stuff that happens on the grapevine, that was it. <laughs> How say you? Yeah. I think I've gone down it once. Yeah, we, we don't I've, we don't come up here much, so. Yeah, I've, I've driven down it once. I think I've driven up it a couple times. Yeah, the other side has a pretty good grade on it too, going southbound. 
but this one's the main one so now you know you're at the bottom there's the end 35 speed limit you can start cutting it loose again you're gonna come out here and do a straightaway level out I'd say don't start jamming 75 miles an hour but because of course California stupid double nickels everywhere so it's an expression everybody uses here double nickels 55 baby 55 mama all right so that is a big excitement down the grapevine hope you enjoyed it yep and then i5 all the way on it so i guess we'll uh check in later yep all right out, out. with turquoise and real diamonds